The SKA, as we call it, is the next generation radio telescope. So we're going to build in South Africa about 130 15 meter dishes. In Western Australia, we're, we're going to build about 130,000 low frequency antennas. So these are not dishes. These are analogous to the, the old fashioned uh, TV aerials we all used to have on our, our roof. So we'll be putting 130,000 of those in with all the associated infrastructure and supercomputers on both sides. Um, the one in Australia will focus on low frequency, uh, the one in South Africa on the uh, what we call the mid frequency range. Well, I think what excites everybody about the X SK is the size and, and uh, of course especially the, the sensitivity and, and the amount of, uh, well, area we have to, to discover extraterrestrial life. Uh, we, we will really be able to listen much further into the universe than ever before. And I think that finding extraterrestrial life, will, it will not be close to us because otherwise I think we would have encountered it already. And the SKA will open a new border for, for looking for extraterrestrial intelligence. Everything that comes with modern civilization interferes with radio signals. And people come with their devices, their mobile phones, uh, their vehicles, microwave ovens. It's, it's analogous to shining a torch uh, down the focus of an optical telescope. Uh, it really disrupts our ability to observe the universe. So we've chosen two sites that are superbly radio quiet. Uh, they're in low density population areas. Um, there are very few interfering signals. And, and this is essential for detecting you know, the weak signals, you know, either from natural phenomena or uh, from uh, being from an intelligence, intelligent civilization. We have this overarching theme, which is uh, exploring the unknown. So we're keeping our eyes open for things we didn't expect. Uh, and we're looking, in, um, we're looking in a space that we haven't looked at before. So we're going to find these new things. So Fast Radio Burst is a very good example of that, where we added new, capability to, uh, new capabilities to existing telescopes, searched in ways we didn't think of or were capable of doing before, and we found something new. SETI, I think, falls exactly into the uh, exploring the unknown. Break, breakthrough Listen, the whole Breakthrough program is fascinating. Um, and I think uh, great kudos should go to Yuri Milner and his colleagues for you know, providing funding for what some years ago was not seen really as a mainstream activity, but increasingly is. And although SETI searches have been done for many years, it's only now that we're really getting that full capability and the SKA will be an enormous step change in our capability. So um, we have had preliminary discussions with the Breakthrough Foundation um, about how SKA could be involved. We have scientists in our science working groups uh, who are pushing the case uh, for a SETI capable back end on our telescopes. And it's my intention that we provide that capability as best we can. So you know, SKA in a few years time will be a core part of the Breakthrough Programme and contributing to that and uh, hopefully doing many, many other things as well. It's the uh, biggest telescope in the world, or it will be. The breadth and depth of the science that we're going to do is phenomenal. Hubble, for example, the top 10 biggest discoveries on Hubble, one of them was planned. And the rest were things that we didn't think about, but we, ca uh, we came across along the way. And similarly, that's going to be the case for SKA. I think SKA is the best bet for finding evidence of life elsewhere in the universe. All the way from finding the the molecular markers, uh, the biomarkers of life, studying the heavy molecules, looking for emission lines from uh, amino acids, for example, uh, all the way through to, uh, to SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. Um, we will have, I think, the, the greatest capability just because of the amount of metal and processing uh, that we're going to put on the ground. Uh, we'll have the best chance of finding those signals if they're out there.